What's up guys, Ken and here and on this episode we're talking about kind of mixed bike sizing and bike fitting. I've already made some videos about bike sizing, meaning how to choose the right um, geometry and the size of the bike for you. And then we're gonna be starting fitting uh, the bike to us, to our needs, our riding style, our performance and our body of course. Um, and then I've mentioned, just mentioned the problem called a toe overlap or shoe overlap meaning that uh, I don't have it here but this would mean that I would easily touch um, the front tire with my shoe. I can, I can do it like this maybe just, yeah, just a bit but there is actually no toe overlap problem on this bike and um, when I've mentioned that on the video uh, many of you, um, especially on my Polish channel started asking me does it mean that uh, if I touch the, the front tire with my shoe, does it mean that the frame is definitely too small for me? The answer is no, it does not mean that you have, de you have definitely to, uh, to change um, the, the, si the size of your frame, uh, but if it's like a lot, if, it, if it's like you are touching even the rim with your shoes, that could be uh, of a problem, but still there's so many different geometries of the bike. Um, that sometimes it would be kind of big, this, this um, overlap. So what should we consider? Um, in my opinion, we should just remember what is the, what's our riding style, how are we going to use the bike? What are we going to use the bike for? If you're gonna like, um, let me show you this. Uh, the toe overlap um, <laughs> takes place when we are uh, in the turn and it's quite a, quite a big turn here, so uh, it would be usually on some low speed, meaning either terrain or city. So if you are building like a versatile bike uh, for commuting and maybe going on some trails as well, or even just for commuting in the city, you have to uh, think about toe overlap even more, because uh, there will be lots of low speed um, uh, some sharp, sharp, uh, sharp turns, and then it would be just dangerous for you, and it would be really easy to to uh, crash. Uh, so, uh, how can we find out whether we will have a toe overlap on a certain frame or not? Uh, what is not really helpful? Uh, it's the length of the top tube. It's so well known and some manufacturers wouldn't even uh, give you other, um, other uh, dimensions uh, but would just mention the length of the uh, top tube. Uh, my Cannondale Cat 10 is 50 size centimeters and the length of the top tube is 50 size centimeters. It tells you something about the frame, about the size, but it doesn't tell you anything about the geometry. Now what do I mean? Uh, let me just uh, show you. Let's say that this is the top tube and I'm just changing the angle of the top tube. So my top tube is now 56 centimeters. If it would be angled like this, it would be 55. Angle like this, 54. Angle like this, 52. So as you can see, the length of the top tube, uh, of the top tube here changes, uh, but the distance between the bottom bracket and the front wheel doesn't change. So uh, the, the top tube length is one of the dimensions, but even more important is the reach, which is the distance between your bottom bracket and your, um, and your head tube. Not like this, but um, uh, horizontally, right? So this distance between this point and this point would be, I hope that you can see it, uh, would be my reach. So, uh, I will really know how long the frame is, right, ahead of me. This is uh, something that doesn't change, that's the place when I'm pedaling and I want to know where my, um, where my um, arms are and of course where the front wheel will, will be. Alright, so um, if you are using, if you are going to build or just buying like a cyclocross bike, I've just showed you in the review, uh, uh, this one is Ridley, for example. Um, you have to consider the, show, the toe overlap problem uh, even more. Let me just show you what's the, dis the differences. What's the difference between those two frames? This one is 54 centimeters. Cat 10 is 56 centimeters. I'm gonna uh, put uh, the uh, dropout of the fork just on the same place, so it will be just put like this. 
And now let's just move the camera and you will see where the bottom bracket ends up. Can you see a huge difference between Cannondale and Ridley? It's, it is a huge difference. So on this Ridley bike, I would definitely have uh, too much of a toe overlap because my bottom bracket is uh, like a couple of centimeters ahead. Uh, why is it so? Yeah, this one is shorter. This is 54 centimeter size. Uh, this is cross, um, um, this is a CX cyclocross uh, bike. So it is shorter so that you have more upright position. And also the bottom bracket is, bottom bracket, um, is uh, higher uh, because this is a cyclocross bike. So problem with the shoe overlap, 54 centimeters is on this uh, frame, for example, is not for me. Well, I've been riding some Candle Synapse. I uh, own, own one. Uh, I did own one. It was the aluminum one, 54 centimeter size. And I did have this toe overlap problem. Uh, but uh, I was just using it on training, on some you know long rides, endurance rides, and I never had this problem. I mean, I never even got close to touching the uh, the front uh, tire with my shoes while riding. So I could be also using 54, but I just feel better on 56. And as you can see, there is absolutely no toe overlap problem here. Now, if you already have the frame and you're thinking, okay, <laughs> if Dennis says so, I have to just replace my frame now. Um, you don't have to do it just yet because there are some uh, tricks you can use for, um, for just um, fixing this problem. One of those is changing the fork. Um, even though all the forks you'll, you'll be putting on the head tube that has some angle and you're, you're not able to change that on your bike, but the forks will be uh, also maybe even different lengths, but different angles and different uh, dropout offset. As you can see, this one has uh, a offset like to the rear, uh, so it shortens the wheelbase. Uh, you can use different forks uh, to, to find uh, the right place for your uh, front wheel. Just remember that by uh, moving the front wheel uh, like towards the, the front of the bike and towards you, you will changing also the geometry and, and how the bike behaves. So remember about that. But that's one thing you can do. Another one is simply changing the shoes. That could be one of the cheapest uh, solutions here. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you have to ch change the size of the shoes that will be too small for you again, just, that so, just so you uh, don't uh, have this overlap uh, problem, toe overlap problem. But different shoes have different shapes and perhaps you can find a shape of the shoe that is better for you. Uh, and then the last one is uh, the uh, crank arm length. Uh, it's a really a myth that uh, all the guys that are six feet tall should have like 172.5 millimeters uh, crank arm length. Uh, I can be running 170. What will change for me, I would maybe change the gearing ratio, but uh, many, many experienced bike fitters would tell you that you even save some energy on, on the long run, uh, like on tri triathlon, for example, when using a shorter crank set and you don't feel the difference really. So like 70, 170 versus 172.5 would give me like 2.5 millimeters uh, more of a distance between the front wheel and the axle of, of uh, the pedal. So that's something uh, we want to, we, we might uh, consider. What you would not change is the cleats because the cleats have to just be on your perfect spot on, uh, on your feet. And I'm going to do, uh, of course, a video about it on the, the next uh, bike feeding uh, episode. So that's it for this toe overlap. You should not be uh, worried too much about it, but if it's like a huge overlap problem, replace some parts of your bike or replace the frame even, if, especially if you're gonna use it in the city as a commuter bike or just versatile bike like for some trails, uh, I don't know, forest, trucks or uh, whatever. So just think about that. If you like these topics, give me some thumbs up so I will, I, I'll know that I should do more of this. If you like some other uh, playlists on the channel, give me a thumb down, don't be afraid to do that. I will just see. Uh, what to choose for you. So thank you guys for your support and I will see you very very soon. Bye bye